Dennis, congratulations on your new deal. How's it feel? Yeah, um, amazing. It's such a good feeling. Um, and yeah, I'm really delighted to get this over the line and, you know, really kick on in the new season and, yeah, push on and reach new heights, new levels. And for you, you've always been an eye, a, a, a man who likes to develop his game and progress. Why did you see Sunderland as the key, as the key place to be doing that? Yeah, I think it's, it's obvious that this is one of the best clubs for youngsters at the moment. Um, and we showed that last year, you know, throughout the season we had the youngest group of players. Um, but I think it's a good mix. So like we've got good experienced players who help a lot and, you know, a great, great manager. Um, all credit to him as well. Um, yeah, I feel like it's just the best, best place for my development and really enjoying it as well at the minute. So, you know, it's perfect for me. You mentioned last season. Um, how do you reflect on your own progress there? Obviously, you had a few injuries to overcome, but in terms of your overall game, how did you feel you progressed? Yeah. Um, yeah, look, last season was a lot of ups and downs. Um, I think there were a lot of good moments, but, you know, some setbacks for me, like a lot of injuries that I feel like somewhat out of my control, like a concussion and stuff. But it really developed me as a um, as a player, but as a person as well. So, you know, it's um, I look back at it and I have no regrets and um, take take everything as a as a learning. And you talk about those ups and downs. You talk about those hurdles that you had to overcome. That's just, I guess, all part of the journey of being yeah. a footballer. Really. Yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, you've got to look at both sides. So you've got to enjoy the highs. Um, it's like after the goals I scored and. Um, but also, you know, the lows as well, and you've got to really learn from that and, and develop. Um, so I'll definitely, yeah, take that into the next season and my career. You mentioned Sunderland being kind of the, the prime place to develop younger players. Just mm -hmm. just how excited are you, just for the future, really, if not just for yeah. yourself, but for the football club? Yeah, um, yeah obviously I was here in, in League One. I wasn't here before, but from what I heard and stuff and the documentary, I'm just really happy that, like, um, we're showing progress and you know like we got into the playoffs last season in the championship like that's incredible when you think about it um, so yeah it's really exciting um, for me for the team for, for everyone that's like um, around this club and the supporters I feel like yeah they should be excited for what's ahead and just to go back to when you first joined the club you know you've gone on to achieve promotion from League yeah. One you've had some Brilliant days in a Sunderland shirt last season. Um, it's been quite the journey for you already, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was like a long time ago <laughs> since I joined, but um, had the different hair and everything. <laughs> um, yeah, look again, loads of loads of highs and lows. Um, it's been it's been some journey so far, um, but hopefully, hopefully that yeah continues and there's more highs to come. Pre-season's just around the corner now. Are you excited to get fully back in and yeah. back integrated with the lads as well? Yeah, being a, being away from football really makes you grateful for for what you do, and you look back at it and like over the season, and you're like, yeah, I just want to get started as as soon as possible again. And just one more on the ambition for next season. Obviously, yeah, playoff finish, really good start for the first season back in the championship, but obviously you want to strive for more next season. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, um, after West Brom, I think there's no limit to what this team can achieve. And I think if if we just keep progressing, um, you know, keep staying positive, then yeah, there is no, no limit. And yeah, it's very, very ambitious at the moment.